Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance from the Avamancia Peninsula. Yeah, we are back on my solo Minecraft world in 1.13.1. And you can see, I have listened to the comments that you have given me, and I now know that a silk touch pickaxe, there was about a bazillion people told me, so thank you all of you, a silk touch pickaxe will indeed pick up coral alive and let you transfer it and plant it down in other places. And that is what I have done down there. You can see it. I'm not going to go under the water today. I've spent so much time under the water, my arm has gone a bit soggy. So I'm going to have a couple of days staying as dry as I possibly can in order to expand the peninsula. But I've got a little tiddly um, coral reef down there that's got a load of sea pickles on it and I'm going to use that as my sea pickle growing farm type stuff which is great we've got the rest of the peninsula but what I have been doing for the last little while is making something else and the something else that I've been making is I go to turn round now and show you what I've been spending my time on is this yes I have converted the house the house has been converted. It is a converted house. Yep, look at that. It is massive. I've done myself a bit of a mansion because I thought, you know what, all those competition winners get a better house than I do. So I've got my house with a big A on its tummy because that's what I like to have, A's on my tummies. So we've got, you'll note, to the side of it, I'm just going to go past that, the, to the side of it, there is a big glass structure. So we're just going to go and have a quick look. So... I, by the way, I've got a full-on man crush for these spruce trap doors. They're brilliant. They are so nice to be able to use in conjunction with like oak wood and spruce wood to put some stuff onto the walls. I've not finished decorating this. You can see it's still relatively flat. I've managed to texture the walls up and I've got the stuff around the windows, but I've not done any real detail around it and I do plan to do that. But um, for now... I think it doesn't look too bad. It's proper empty inside. I'm going to warn you. We're going to go inside and you're going to go, Avo, there's nothing in it. And you'll be right. If I come inside, close the door. I've got a couple of chests of stuff that I salvaged um, from the last place. I've got a slightly separated out room. You can see I've put glowstone down on the floor there. I'm going to carpet that over the glowstone so that'll be a little bit nicer, I think, rather than having glowstone there. I'm going to go upstairs before I go downstairs. So we've got a split level stair this goes out to a kind of balcony area which is quite nice quite happy with that coming down here and then coming down whoop coming down across here we've got another balcony area which we can go out on to that will be lovely at christmas because we can look at a christmas tree and that and then we're going to come back in here and then we're going to go upstairs again. Yes, it has three levels. I have an array of chests. And here is my bed. And this is where I sleep in. And um, I've got a little bit of storage. Uh, and obviously my other chest, which I've emptied out at the moment. It's quite nice to have that there. Um, because most of the storage, of course, is down in the item sorter. So I don't really need that much around here. Uh, I am actually wondering what I'm going to fill this place with it is the biggest emptiest house in the entire world but that's all right I don't mind so much but what I do have down here I'm quite excited about can you tell what this is going to be this is going to be my aquarium yep it's going to be walk-in so as you can walk in and around it I am going to do some decoration inside it's not just going to be a load of gravel and uh, we're going to populate it with a load of fish. I'm going to stop drowned because drowned could spawn in here. Absolutely no question it could. I'm going to stop drowned by having those trap doors and they won't be able to get in. And actually, I may well be able to bash them, which is quite nice. And uh, I'm going to seal it off at the top. And yeah, and then I'll be able to walk across the top of it as well. It's going to be quite nice. And that is today's objective. I'm just going to have some chicken. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. That's today's objective is to create this. And what we need is a load of water and some fish and some other stuff too. So it's time to go and get that. 
But before we do that, we are going to have a little jog over to the mate's base, a very special mate's base member to put in today. It's getting dark already. I'll tell you, the days go so fast. Is that me getting old? Probably. Anyway, I'm going down to the mate's base, very special mate's base member today. We're going into the base of mates down here. We nearly filled up this level. Let's get ourselves a quick check. No, we're all good. Right, so today's mate... Um, has been with me a little while hang on what is this? this is episode hang on episode 43 yeah he's been with me a little while a few months and it's been an absolute pleasure to get to know him a constant commenter absolutely brilliant and he's also a member of the channel i don't know if you know what channel memberships are but you can become a member of the channel and it just helps the channel to stay afloat frankly so if you want to become a member feel free to uh, look at the link down in the description below it'll be absolutely wonderful obviously no obligation to do that but if you wanted to that would be amazing but this chap has decided to become a member that's not why he's coming into the mate space he's coming to the mate space because he is such an active commenter and supporter of the channel and today i am absolutely delighted to bring in my friend now derek is it derek sorrell or derek sorrell in the comments below derek let me know how phonetically you say your name i really 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 would like to know Derek Sorrell, Derek Sorrell. I think it's Sorrell, but I could be wrong. I don't know. But you are very welcome, sir, into the mate space. Absolute privilege and a pleasure to be able to put you in here. Thank you very much for all the support you've given me. It is an absolute delight to be able to put you in. Brilliant. Right, so we better get back to that aquarium because I think there's some fishy fishies that need to go swimmy swimmy. I'm going there now. So I am in my lovely big house here and I've got my chest full of stuff that I'm going to be making this with. It's quite a long way down. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the water in. That's, I mean, I'm staying the obvious, right? But to be able to get the water in, I need to put a, I guess kind of a, a row of stuff that I can dig out fairly quickly. So what I'm going to do is, this is the top row. This isn't actually going to, this is going to be glass, this lot. So that's the top row of the water, which makes that there the kind of second to top row. So what I want to do is I'm going to crouch and go around this way here. And then I'm going to come along this way as well. All the way to the end. Oh, I'm rubbish at crouching. Right, okay, so that's that's me done there. And I've, I've created the, what would you call that? The, the bit that I'm gonna be walking on. So it's come out. Let's get rid of that, like that. Um, and then what I wanna do is I want to make an infinite water source as well. So let's get that going there. That can go back in. I've got loads of stuff. I'm never going to use all this stuff. It's absolutely no chance. But if I get myself a little infinite water source there and one there, and then what I need to do is just continually get myself the water. Now, this is going to take a little bit of time. Oh, except I've done it from the... I always do that. Oh, my goodness. Right. So now I've got to do there and there. Right. So you, you get you get the idea. I've done it again. You get the idea. I've actually done it again. There we go. Right. So start this again. Come on, Alamance. You are a monkey. Get that there. And get that there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to stop myself from being a fool and I'm going to cover up the ones that I can't do I can't believe I'm having to give myself guidelines that's absolutely ridiculous right so come along here so we're going to stick one in there and one in there and I'm basically going to carry on doing this and I'll be back when I finished assuming I don't destroy myself on the way another one look one on there and one on there it's coming along we'll be there we'll be there Right, so how many of you lot were shouting at the screen saying, Avo, you don't need that wooden walkway? Not at all, because you've got a source block on this side, 
and a source block on this side which means by definition the one in the middle is going to become a source block too now I've somehow I've got some drift and I don't know why so I'm going to need to work out but I'm not that bothered because what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be um, whoop, I'm going to be planting up some uh, oh no I've got, it's going to be a lot quicker if I do it on here isn't it? I'm going to be planting up some kelp and what that's going to do is that's going to transform all, yes I mean all, of these water blocks into uh, source blocks, which will get rid of this drift, I hope. So I'm just chopping off the wood to get that out of the way, because that was just temporary. Right, so that wood, you can notice it's wood, and it floats really, really slowly to the top, and yet gold shoots to the top, like it's got some kind of rocket up its bum. It does not make sense, people. I do not understand why it does that. So what we're going to do is we're going to plant up kelp on every bit. And we're going to allow that kelp to grow. Now, I'm not going to leave it here, obviously. Because if we left it here, that would just be silly. But because of the way kelp grows, it will transform every block that it grows into, into a source block. And I don't know if I have to have source blocks uh, for the fish or whether or not you know it will make them upset or drown them or something like that but what it will do is if we've got any blocks that are just making things a little bit wobbly look they're already starting to grow then it will turn them into source blocks and I can just walk straight out there ah, it dies there we go so I'm just going to go back upstairs up here shut those doors I needed 63 kelp blocks wow I literally had one kelp block literally I've only got one seagrass. Why well, have I only got one seagrass? Right, so whilst that kelp is growing, I'm going to go and trim up some more seagrass. It's going to take a little while, and I'll be back when that is ready to roll. What's also quite fun is the fact that it means that I'll be able to farm a load of seagrass, which is brilliant. So you can see that we have got all of that kelp growing right up to the top. It was only four high, so it didn't take too long, really. And we're going to come inside, and we're going to literally remove every single one which is great because it also means we're going to get a load of kelp as well i reckon we're going to get what three or four stacks of kelp out of this so that's quite nice let's just collect up this kelp it's got stuck there there and there now i am going to put some of this kelp back and the reason is i think kelp could be quite nice in the fish tank as decoration not too much of it but just a tiny little bit because it, it does get in the way it pretty much fills an entire column doesn't it but it would be nice to have as a little bit of tall greenery. So I'm just going to collect up all the kelp now. Look, that's all that kind of got stuck at the bottom. I wonder why that's sticking. Has it got stuck in the glass? That's not floated away. So what did I get? I got, yeah, nearly four stacks of kelp, which is absolutely brilliant. If I get this kelp out, and then what I can do is I can, I can get myself decorating. So let's do that now. So I've now got all the bits that I need. I can hear a pig man. Where's the pig man? There's a, there's a pig man over there. Oh, there's two pig men over there. There's th oh my goodness, we've got some mad pig man spawnage going on. Why have I got three pig men? That's weird. Anyway, we're going to go and have a bit of a... We're going to put in some soul sand because soul sand looks cool. And we're going to put the soul sand in just a few different bits fairly randomly to give ourselves some bubble columns which I think are going to look really nice in a fish tank so shove that one there I don't want to put them too close together because when and if I do actually come in let's go there when and if I do actually come in I don't want to be tripping over soul sand all the time I don't get to breathe either also I've got a load of kelp that I didn't manage to collect as well I'll have that I'm going to put, I reckon what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of kelp back there, a bit of kelp there and there, and a bit of kelp uh, there, and I think that will probably do. Now what I want to do is I want to put some coral in, but coral, it's going to be quite tricky I think, and I'm going to trip over constantly these things. I think what we're going to do is we're going to put in some coral in the middle there there and there I reckon we'll put some blue coral in 
And then we'll put some red coral. I'm just going to put literally just that. I think that's enough. I don't want to overdo it. Um, yeah, and then let's have some yellow coral next to it. Let's get ourselves some pink coral there. There, 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 there. Oh, I got stuck in it again. And there. And then where could I have this other yellow? Let's stick the other yellow one over here as well. Next to the blue there. I reckon that's quite nice. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to get the fan corals out. And see what we can't do. No, not that one. Let's see what we can't do with those. So we put that like that. Just going to get that little bit there. That will do nicely. Um, I'm going to get... That one's going to go there. We're going to put the blue bit on the side there. Red bit's going to go under there like that. And stick another red bit there. Yellow bit there. And I reckon a yellow bit on top there. That looks all right, actually. Okay, so then we're going to get some seagrass in. We'll put some seagrass in just randomly around the bottom. Don't again, don't want to put too much in. Just enough to make it look pretty. There and there. And then that leaves us with some sea pickles. I just want to put some sea pickles down to light the place up a little bit. There we go, up and over. There. And we're going to put them down in the middle. There. There. Where else can I put a sea pickle? Let's put one. Do I want to put a sea pickle anywhere else? Is the question. Put one under there. I reckon that's probably enough, actually. That is probably enough. Right, so let's get ourselves out of this place. Let's lower those down just in case anything spawns. And we'll get ourselves back up to the top. I don't want to overdo it after all. And then I'm going to shove these bits back in that are there. And then what, oh, then what I want to do is I want to get some fish. But I've got a feeling I'm going to put too many fish in here. I've got way too many fish for this tank. The tank is not big enough. So we've got clown fish, a dotty back, another clown fish and another dotty back. Okay, that's good. Because they're meant to spawn a little bit, aren't they, fish? So let's put... Um, no, I'm going to do this from underneath, I think, because I don't want to drop the fish. I don't know if it makes any difference. So let's come out, open it up. We're going to come in. Right, so let's get... A, how do you put the clownfish down? There we go. So that's one, one of those. One of those. Oh, that's a nice one. Then we go these as well. They're going to get flipped all over the place, aren't they? Okay, so here we go. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm going to put some cod in. Why not? Yeah. Look, the fish are flipping out as they go over the bubbles. That's hilarious. Right, so it's five, six, seven, eight. Nine. They're coming under here. Like that. Got loads of fish in here now. We're getting proper old fishy now. We got five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There we go. So we've got plenty of fish right in there. So now we're going to come out because these fish are getting too excited. And we're going to see what that looks like from above. These fish are bouncing all over the place. Right, okay, I'm a little bit worried that we're going to lose some of these fish. So it is time to get the glass on. So let's put glass across the entire floor. Should be just enough glass to be able to do this. 
and if not I'll have to go and get some more so let's fill up this glass so I've, I've actually I'm literally building this with my tongue out again this is a tongue out build this one I, I hope that those bubbles don't push the fish so hard no 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 mr. salmon don't die don't die I'll try and push you back in there you go yeah I hope the bubbles oh no I lost a fish I actually lost a fish <sighs> oh well that was a bit of a shame so I had quite a lot of fish in there anyway I'm not going to lose too much sleep so those bubbles are now going up hopefully the fish now won't brain themselves on the glass because that would be bad I suspect the fish are probably going to spend quite a lot of time on the top have I got too many bubble columns on there do you think I don't know let's go and have a look and see what it looks like from the side because that's really what you should be looking at it from so there we go so we've got loads and loads of fish there we've got a few fish bouncing around there what's it look like from the outside come along this way so you can't see from the outside very well from that side how does it look I think that looks alright what do you reckon people in the comments below do you think that is alright that, that fish has got its tail rather crankily sticking out of the glass that's weird but um, now it's off again but I think that looks okay now I know that if you go too deep in um, as in too, like too wide with the water you end up with some visibility problems which is why I only did it three wide but I think that's pretty cool I'm very happy with that and uh, I can walk along the top of it as well as let's come along this side uh, go in the hole come on right you can walk along the top of it as well so you can view it from the top and that makes for a really nice kind of veranda look at all of that we've got some coral we've got seagrass we've got bubble columns we've got a little bit of kelp growing we've got loads and loads of fish that my friends is a winner i'm happy and there you go people we have won quite snazzy little fish tank that's integrated into my lovely big ass we're going to spend the next few episodes i think trying to kind of augment this uh, area a little bit we need to replace the mob farm don't we we need to replace the iron farm and i just want to kind of build and develop the area we spent a lot of time kind of faffing around underwater we spent a lot of time not really growing an awful lot of stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spend the next few episodes just building it up i'm going to get a little iron farm system going and i'm going to get the mob spawner back and all that kind of stuff so if you have enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you've enjoyed it and i will carry on making the avamancia series also if you've not done it already please do remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell it'll be great to see you in my sub club and notification squad and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now bye i'm going to go and bash them pigmen